Hey, welcome to another episode here of uh, Will's Garage. Gonna see uh, see what we can get done. Gotta take a little break from work and see if we can get things going here. Got uh, got the old battery charged up. Looks like the old Amazon Basics uh, actually worked here. I'm gonna put that in and pull the new battery out and get the new battery charged up equally and see where that puts us. But uh, yeah, I got the got the new plug wires, got the spark plug tester, uh, got a tripod, gonna see what it looks like to actually film myself working. So got the Taylor wires, I'll go show those, got the, got the new plugs and everything. So not sure if I'll go full, full on and getting the, uh, getting the whole tune up done, but uh, I'll probably at least uh, try the new spark plug tester and see if See if anything is sparking now that I can actually watch a light as opposed to um, trying to do it myself. So uh, I'm shocking myself, but, uh, but yeah, so let's see how it goes. So I'll try to set this up here so that uh, we can see what I'm working on. I'm gonna get the uh, spark tester down in there. Looks like we're actually looking at the other side. Uh, it's a pretty simple little thing here. You just replace the uh, the boot from the from the spark plug with the or from the from the coil with this boot, and then uh, you connect this to the, to the existing coil wire. So. so you can see here we have this that up there. It's kind of, kind of there. You see it in the video. I'll, uh, hopefully, be able to see the light come on. All right, we're on your tits. that worked so the viewers you probably know before I do so all right adventurers taking a look here at the at the old safety switch so looking at the wear on the terminals I'm gonna guess that this was an NC so that would be normally closed uh, so when I install the new one here I will do the same thing so I'll put it on NC so if you see that it's hard to see there. Yeah, it's tough. Some of the terminals you can see are a little bit shiny. Let's see if we can get a light on it here. See that one there? That's one of the terminals that that the uh, that the spades were on and that is on the NC. So if you look inside, it's tough to see inside there. It says uh, NC for normally closed. So that's how I'll hook this one up, this guy here. So uh, now I'm gonna crawl under the hatch over here and uh, see if I can get this set up. So let's see here. Let me get a light so I can actually see. But, uh, you know, who needs to see anything, right? So, let's see here. I don't know if I can... Just take this off. Right dark. Sorry. Let's go. Oh. Sorry, I need, like, four cameras. 
cameras. Alright. So, let's see if I can see what I'm working on here. of climbing out. Just this back nut, so that way I think we're only going through what? center is going to be there. Okay, that thing installed. Let's get our new lanyard on here. It's nice and safe. And uh, let's try this spark plug thing again because uh, I didn't have the lanyard connected and if it was a good switch then that shouldn't have worked. So um, I'll just secure this here for now. Maybe next time we go out, we can hook it up, and it's not in our way. So uh, let's go ahead and rehook up the spark plug tester. Oh, forgot about it. It's still hooked up. So we'll set you guys here so you can be my my eyes on the prize here as we uh, try to figure out what's going on. Let's try this again. Okay, I'm gonna guess I didn't see anything, but I shall review the footage. You're just gonna have to watch me work for a little bit, so it's probably not very interesting. I'm uh, trying to work this out. Jeez. Jumping away here. I don't know if I can get three weights.
Got it. Yeah. Oh, to a point. Okay, both of the terminals are off, the wires are now free, looks like gray goes to one side and maybe orange goes to the other, hmm. and now that that is there, now we'll get this thing out. This is one side that I have a pair of fit. Of course not. I tried anyways.
fun. All right, I got the new uh, Protronics flamethrower uh, coil installed and uh, everything seemed to go okay. The, it looks like all the oil is leaking out of the old coil. I'm not sure why at such a young age it's having such a problem, but, uh, but we'll go ahead and see uh, if this does anything. It worked! Holy cow! That was it! I can't believe it! The first thing I did and it ran! Are you serious? This is unbelievable. Ah, how, how in the world? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is awesome. Here, let's do it one more time. Here we go. It's starting. I can't believe it. It's at least trying to fire. That's so awesome. Well, huh, that's great. So it looks like now we're getting good spark. We must have not been getting good spark. So uh, yeah, it could be due to a lot of things. Gonna take a look at a lot of the, the wiring. Maybe I'm just not getting a good 12 volts over to the um, over to the coil and off to the distributor, but what? This is awesome. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dig into it some more and we'll see where we go. Maybe we'll get it running a little bit better. It sounded like it was uh, dying out there, so. Maybe I need to give a little pump of gas here. Yeah, let's just do that while we're while we're while we're here. Let's give her a little couple of well, a couple two three pumps there. And now let's uh, let's see if we can crank her over and keep her running. <laughs> that was it. It was running. We did it, team. Oh, Team Willis Garage comes through in the end. So. Uh, still sound a little weak, but, uh, but we'll go, man, this is great news. So, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and do the rest of this spark plug change out get our ignition working great. Uh, probably take a look at some of the other connections. Like I said, maybe there's a, uh, just a, just a low voltage in that new coils got just so much power that it can rip it out. But, uh, all right, here we go. Bugs are loving it, man. So awesome. Awesome. Got a little visitor here. He uh, wants to say hello. A little stink bug. So uh, it's that time of year. But uh, all right, on to the next thing. Hey, so uh, got that new coil installed. Got everything running. I'm uh, gonna take a look here of what uh, what's about to come out of this old coil here. So I got the the trusty uh, Miller Lite uh, catch can, and I got the uh, the old coil here. And uh, let's just go go ahead and see what. Yep, yep, that's. Uh, it doesn't seem uh, good. So it uh, looks like this thing was pretty well damaged. Not exactly sure. Uh, I know that uh, this should be in like an oil bath or something to be able to generate the, the spark. But, uh, but yeah, so looks like um, looks like this generally failed, which is crazy because it just worked. So not sure if something uh, as I was working, uh, if I damaged something or not, but um, yeah cool so uh, another thing down so let's uh keep working we got a couple more things to finish up gotta keep working on that cover gotta get that uh gotta get that bracket welded back up and maybe get some bushings so that way i don't uh ruin the boat again uh and get a a bolt for the latch and uh we'll be rocking and rolling i gotta i do have to send back these uh they were not the right types of boots for my application. So I'll go find what I need now that I know a little bit more and uh, get to it. So uh, yeah, let's see what the kids are up to.